Hi, welcome. This is the energy for today, August 23rd. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today? August 23rd. What does the viewer need to see in here for today? Uh, playful. Being playful. Uh, maybe if, if you're struggling on a on a down point, you know, this will this will help your core. Um, taking things lightheadedly, you know, not so wholeheartedly. Um, what else, please? What else? Okay, and then uh, the forbidden. So maybe you've not allowed yourself to be happy. Um, that's I don't know why they said that, but they did. And then um, let's see this one right here. Um, differences so this could be you're seeing a good part and a bad part and you've got to decipher which one you're going to take um it's very much like that picture there's fruit on there they're fruit but they're different they're opposite okay and then rigid so this is where you gotta um put the bar down a little bit so you can go over it um and maybe there's some kind of wall that you've put up um, so let's see, the others that came out is conclusion and chaos. So perhaps you're moving yourself out of uh, something that is very chaotic, okay? And then these two, an oath and the strength. So is there an oath that you took? Um, and maybe you're needing the strength to break it, or maybe needing the strength to continue on your oath. Um, let's see what those two mean. They did flop on the table, so I want to just be fair about it and see what it means. Uh, let's see for the strength 35 what does that mean uh, you know maybe you're getting better maybe you're you're finding your voice and you're getting better about something that perhaps maybe you kept some kind of uh, resistance up to okay um, so you got the six of wands you're coming out of some sort of um, chaos some kind of battle but you're moving in the right direction you're moving towards something that is healing uh, something that is more um, maybe recognizing something that you didn't see, but it's more conducive to your happiness, to your growth. Okay. And then the oath. What is the oath? Card 49. Um, and, and the reason I say it's maybe you want to end that oath, it's because in this card, the oath, the, the it's almost like the picture is diminishing. It's like going away. Like, so... Is there something that you somehow um, you need to give up? Okay, you got something you're holding on to. You're worried. You're worried about how to let go of this. Um, it, it could be dealing with money. Pentacles are about money. Maybe you're holding on to something because you don't think you're going to have enough of. But definitely that's not the case because you need that strength to move forward, to see the victory, not to keep yourself in some sort of a state of um you know um where you you're blinded uh by by trouble by trickery um just a lot of things that are just not good for you and it keeps you definitely stuck um so let's see welcome you guys i hope you're doing well thank you so much for joining me today i hope you're staying healthy and happy and that's how you attract more healthy and happiness is by being happy and healthy um playful 44 what does that mean are you learning to be playful are you learning to sort of you know take things not take things so seriously card 44 please what does this mean okay so you got the three of swords um maybe you're learning how to cope with a broken heart maybe somebody's broken your heart by breaking up with you or maybe you're at this point where you want to break up with somebody and that's the second time that's come up today so um you got the ace of swords and the knight of wands so there's something here that maybe you're trying to be more um not so stern with yourself maybe forgiven um i definitely do feel with the knight of wands that's definitely a sense of um some sort of good news coming in for you or some kind of offer um but i think that the gap here is that you got to get over that three of swords you got to let go of it Maybe this is communicating with somebody that you were separated from. Uh, Three of Swords does have that aspect of a card where 
you know, it speaks about separation. It speaks about sadness. It speaks about third party situation. Are you needing to end a third part, third party situation or maybe just betrayal? Um, and I love it because the three of swords is in reverse. So this means you're, you're mending, you're mending, you're fixing yourself. So maybe you need to speak some kind of truth or maybe you're seeing the truth. Okay. Um, but something's growing here again. Uh, maybe it is a separation that you're wanting to come into. And that's making you giddy and happy, playful. Um, three of Swords. Okay. So you got the, the King of Wands and the Five of Swords. Perhaps surrendering to something. Taking initiative to surrender. Uh, maybe letting go of that, um, that oath. That thing that keeps holding you in stress. Or um, whatever you're devoted to that is causing anxiety. The Five of Swords could be people in your environment causing this kind of anxiety. It also, because it is a sword, it could be something that you're resisting and keeping up because maybe you don't want other people to say th something about you. Or maybe it's just creating conflict within yourself and you just don't have the, the sense of taking that initiative to break that pattern. Um, but I feel the King of Wands is the opposite of that. The, he King of Wands takes charge. So there's somebody here that is taking charge with this Five of Swords energy. Um, and like I said, it could be conflict internally. It could be conflict in the family. It definitely could be conflict in a marriage or a relationship. Um, let's see here. What is the Ace of Swords? Ace of Swords, please. What is the Ace of Swords here? The Ace of Swords. Almost like you, you the cards got sticky all of a sudden. What is the Ace of Swords? Okay, there we go, right here. Um, and you got another ace of wands i mean you got another ace so i feel like you're you're somehow your passion your your inner core is fighting you to speak up about something to see the light um to see the truth and really cut the end of it cut the end of the bs with the five of swords and the three of swords um really cutting that out okay what is the ace of wands there's a passion there um okay so it's almost like you got to take that initiative and then the king of wands we've got two masculines here again um so there's a sense of um really needing some kind of stability or maybe you're you're seeking some kind of guidance the inner core is guiding you to this guidance to this sense of um being able to see something um and perhaps maybe truth this is the truth right here so this truth is making you somewhat um feel stable um it's a sense of um stability you know s security maybe okay could be within the home could be within your father could be within um your loved your love situation so take it as it resonates um but i definitely do see this seven of, of cups is coming out it sort of was sticking out but i wonder is this your it's like You'll have new opportunities once you get over this gap, this bridge that you got across of, of maybe speaking or seeing truth, okay? And what is the Knight of Wands? Knight of Wands. This one right here. So Three of Cups. Um, you know, coming back to happiness, making yourself balanced first. Um, you know, I feel like this is a sense of emotion. This definitely could be coming in towards a reunion, um, you know, maybe a past love or someone that you've been separated from maybe a trial separation for some of you i hear um maybe this is just something that's balancing you out like you see the light and you know that this is what you want you want to return to happy um it could be with a single person it could be with your community your family your loved ones whatever the case but i definitely do feel this is coming in towards emotion maybe towards a single person okay and really I, okay, so um, the Seven of Pentacles and the the um, Ten of Wands. So something that's been laying heavy, heavy on you. Okay, um, let's see here. So we've got two kings here. I feel like this king, you're dealing with one king. Okay, I don't feel you're dealing with two people. I feel you're dealing with a king that is trying to break out of their mold something that they've blocked themselves from with the forbidden card that we're gonna clarify next okay so let's see perhaps maybe this person has needed to get stronger for you or for themselves really surrender um and i do feel like that is what's happening and it could be also that you know you if you're dealing with the person and you're trying to 
work over some issues because I see that somebody here might be separated. Um, there's a sense of maybe one being, uh, both energies being dominant, both energies being um, somewhat masculine, okay, um, for whoever I'm seeing. Um, it's almost like you're, you're, you could be two masculine bodies, so maybe some feminine energy needs to happen here, okay? Um, let's see here. And feminine energy is, that divine feminine is that healing energy you see. Um, forbidden. What is forbidden? What does forbidden mean? Card 18. You're almost completing the cycle. You're almost to the point where you're, you're, got, you see? Six of Swords, you're, you're, you're finishing something up, um, something that's kept your heart guarded, something that you've kept yourself guarded from, um, something that's been very hard on you. With the Six of Swords, it's very much spirit trying to get you to wake up, to recognize. It's, um, we saw the Six of Swords earlier, and that's what it felt like. Like you you got to choose some kind of harmony with, within yourself. Um, or you're going to leave yourself in some kind of chaos. So Six of Swords is something you're thinking about. You're very much thinking because Spirit is trying to tell you, walk away from something. Look at that. The Eight of Cups as well. Um, maybe you're wishing to be able to walk away. Maybe you're wishing for that courage to be able to end something and go find your Tenth Cup. Um, this is definitely walking away from something. Okay, you got two cards of moving away. And then the the... The world is very much a new cycle. I feel like that is what that card is telling you. It's something that you've kept yourself from. Maybe you've kept yourself in a dark place for a long time, um, not really reaping what you sow. But Lord and behold, it's like that vine is going to come back to life. You're going to put more water in it. You're going to put more emotion, okay? You're going to start to grow it again. Um, what is the Seven of Pentacles? Oh, okay. C4 of Swords, putting that to rest. Putting to rest the fact that you're not reaping what you sow okay so what i see here there's there's a sense of um how can i put this there's a sense of um needing to find the balance um between some kind of conflict and something that your inner core is guiding you towards and you gotta you somehow gotta put that to rest um or else you're gonna stay in that chaos and that conflict with the seven of pentacles it's definitely something that can still grow but you have to work at it and take initiative and really that's going to give you the stability that whoever this is whether it's you or your person that's trying to conform into this somehow balanced um three of cup energy where you know they're holy um uh, holy meaning around their whole environment it, it's it's peaceful okay you got the four of wands at the top um you know, this could be a new marriage. This could be a new commitment. This could be coming together with the person that maybe you're struggling with, the person you're separated with coming together. And then the three of wands really expecting it. And what I mean by that is that you have your faith. Nothing's rocking your, your the fact that you're going to get to a happier place or to reap what you sow. And that's what it was. Um, it went away. And I sort of lost. Sometimes they give me so many messages like so fast, guys. And what I was going to say when I first saw the Seven of Pentacles is that you've been given to something. You have been giving wholeheartedly to something. Reaping, you, you've been reaping stuff, but you're not sowing something. You know, reaping and sowing, it means what you put into it, the sowing part means it comes back to you. But you've been reaping something and it's just dead. I mean, it, it's just dead and, and it wants to be plucked. It wants to be you know harvested so this needs some kind of action whatever this situation is for you it needs some kind of action to move forward to it um your whatever this is for you whether it's work money family love you're giving into it and you're not getting 100 percent back and that is the imbalance that is why spirit is trying to balance you out and tell you you've had enough of this it's time to, for a new cycle. It's time for you to come together. You've learned all these lessons. Don't hold on to the bad lessons. Move forward and start new. You have all the elements with the world. So it's very much where, you know, your spirit guides, your God, and, and people that you know down here on the material plane that are like you and you trust them and they're like your mind, you know, they will guide you into the right direction. So it's like going into a new step. And I think that this is you holding back from yourself.
because you're giving to something you keep giving to something and it's not growing so it's time to put that to rest okay um i want to know what is the eight of cups what are they walking away from it's an oath it's an oath they said to a new path um loyalty shedding your skin shedding your skin from that old way of thinking the old paradigm the old things that society told you were the right things but they're really not um really this is what's gonna help your your soul grow you're walking to loyalty perhaps a best friend perhaps a twin flame um definitely a sense where this is where you're calling you're getting called to it and and i do feel like you've placed yourself in a place where it's forbidden for you um that is i don't know why what's the six of swords okay so the moon uh -huh. so someone's causing you confusion um confusing moments here Th that's why you're not going um someone is confusing you you see because i asked i didn't ask really but in my head i asked like what's stopping you and what's stopping you is that there's someone of a feminine energy that is confusing you and keeping you in fear you see that look she's holding on to your cup but it's a confusing cup it's not the, the moon is fearful when you let it be when you don't allow yourself to change and let go of things it becomes fear but the moon could be great because it could be femininity and it could be love and it could be clarity and it could be your intuition but somebody is blocking you from having that intuition um i'll put those back but yeah i think that that's what it is somebody has been holding you back and it really um maybe you need more um attentive um not attentive what is the word um that word where um what i see is somebody who is struggling to take action and have stability um to take not be attentive but um what is the word i can't think of the word maybe it'll come back i'm not sure um let's see here so i want to know what is the differences differences please okay so the okay six of cups and and the fool the difference is is that if you stay in an unhappy place you're always going to think about the six of cups and if you move towards it you'll have that six of cups you'll have that new beginning um and also i definitely do feel like there's a sense that you're being pulled back to perhaps maybe a reunion or maybe to that true person that calls you that sense of vulnerability or um harmony i feel harmony here um this is definitely starting over you want to start over with something but maybe you're opposite maybe you're just so opposite meaning you're scared to death of this person because you're opposite yet you attract is that not amazing okay six of cups please okay so you want to give that offer you want to give yourself to a relationship where you're you're giving you're giving and then it'll grow instead of giving something and it's not growing and the page of pentacles that is because you've learned your error of your er your ways you've learned something along the path and that's what i got with the world you've had people help you you have god you have the people here on this planet that have helped you to see um which way you should go and i think you've learned a lot so this is taking you to that full you're starting over again and you want to start over with this person that is so different than you um what is the knight of cups okay so you want to make a choice on your love with the lovers okay and i definitely do feel like this is where the person that um is causing conflict could be the person that you're still with it could be the person maybe a mother even a father because we do have the masculine feminine energies um is it family member that's causing conflict and not letting you choose but as we saw the queen of cups before she came out as holding on to you so do you choose this or do you move forward i, I just i mean this is you got the six of cups you got the leverage you got the knight of cups um definitely there's something going to be revealed there's something that needs to be spoken and the ace of swords said it very strongly you gotta be able to speak that truth to cut the bs to cut the to cut the bs is that queen of cups that's holding you holding you back from reaping what you sow so hopefully i'll remember how to
title this reading reaping what you sow because that's big today um you're in something that is not to your benefit it's not giving you back what you need and that causes instability that causes you to blind yourself and um that definitely causes you to be rigid meaning you're not letting something in that could be so beautiful in um that's definitely what it's saying okay let's see here what does rigid mean card 30 rigid you're looking um you're, you're trying to find find your bearings okay with the page of swords whoever this is you're trying to find your bearings um how can i say that it's um uh, you're feeling very vulnerable you're being drawn to something that is very different for you maybe you're still researching how you go you can go about this maybe you're still researching this person from the six of cups and the lovers um maybe you're still trying to discover what it is that you need to do to take stability and initiative to make it grow to make that seven of pentacles grow okay um and i think that because it is a sword it's, it's a way of thinking it's a way of maybe strategizing or how do i do this how can i go in that direction um page of swords i feel that wall is coming down i feel that this wall here it's coming down um and i can just hear kings of leon when the walls when the walls come down um and i love that song it's it's a very i feel a very masculine kind of song where you know they just sort of let it go and everything just sort of comes in um but you're looking how to how to plant your 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 feet um and so the eight of pentacles flew out sorry guys i didn't mean to do that eight of pentacles so you're you're trying to um accomplish your legacy okay you're trying to build stability within your core which will leave a legacy for yourself and your family which will also bring you into spirituality um it's very much a card of you know opening the door to that spirituality and to to really fulfill your destiny with this deck um i definitely feel like it's a sense of really working on it you've been working on it so you're you're still working on it um how to break that wall so that you can build that legacy and it's really a call to spirit um i definitely do feel like that's what that is it, it's a call to god what's the eight of pentacles so that's where you're going to have your happy okay you'll get your ten of cups when you when you have finished that core um that core building that you're doing and once you make that decision once you reveal that decision you see it's once you reveal it is what they're saying um so i think you're looking forward and you're strategizing you're finding out how to overcome that wall how to overcome the obstacle and that obstacle is that perhaps maybe a situation or person or a place is holding you back perhaps maybe you're holding yourself back and you got to have that self-love in order to get that wish fulfillment that you're you're wanting okay um so i i do feel there is a choice here maybe it is a third party situation maybe it's where you have to pick the person that truly makes you happy not the one that makes society happy if that rings a bell i don't know um i want to know what the high priestess what is this high priestess what is she saying today yeah look at take take back your power take your control and then you'll have your nine of cups your wish it's not until you take back your power that you get this wish and by taking back your power that that means putting that wall down whatever has hurt you whatever anybody has done to you that's been conflict you know or burdensome or held you from your true passion you let that down and you gain control of your situation and that's how you're going to be the king of pentacles um and then perhaps the king of wands taking act action and some sort of stability forming some kind of stability for yourself um definitely okay so let's see how does this story end today how does it end today 
Ooh, you're going to choose your lover. You got the lovers twice. You're going to choose. You know there's an answer here. Um, when I see this card, I see an answer. You've been you've been given that Ace of Swords. There's a truth there. It's very vulnerable and it's very true and raw and it's very scary. But it's full of growth. It's something that you can come out of a growth. Um, it's, it's something that you can come out of like a drought and then just grow it. And it's very much that angel, that uh, Rachel. I think that's the Archangel Rachel trying to guide you together. You see so let's see what else and there's gonna be a choice three of cups oh my god twice okay it's dittoing itself guys reunion reunion is what they're saying um and then the three of swords you're healed from this pain you're gonna heal yourself from that pain what else let's see okay and the star see you're healing from that beautiful there's a connection there very emotional, very vulnerable, a very divinely guided, um, and it's healing you. It's a, tw it's your twin. This is your twin. I feel okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna take a second. I'm gonna do. I'm just sitting here looking at all my cards. I'm like, I'm gonna use a different card today. So I want to use the angel answers. So I want you to take just one second, formulate a question, and then I'll ask it to answer you. So take just a second. And think of a question. Okay, Spirit, what is the answer to their question, please? What is the answer to their question? Okay, so I've got some of your questions, your answers. Okay, so there's one here it says a year from now. Okay. For other of you, it says wait, and you'll know who these are for. You'll fill it in your stomach, okay? And then recovery. So somebody is recovering, balancing. Maybe you need to recover before you can proceed for whoever it is. Um, unlikely for some of you. That means if something's unlikely for you, it doesn't mean you're not going to have your abundance or prosperity or love. It just means it wasn't for you. And there's something greater in store for you, even though you don't see it yet. Um, success so yes for some of you yes success okay and then um, trust for some of you there's a lot of trust and that's where this faith comes in and be playful definitely okay so trust trust your inner guidance okay so I hope you like that I don't know why I just was sort of pulled to do it today let's see here um, what is the karmic message of love karmic message of love karmic message of love okay these three so you have more options than you realize okay maybe that's why you got the unlikely and the weight and the weight doesn't necessarily mean no it just means it's not ready it's like taking a cake out of the oven it's gonna fall if you take it out too early and it's gonna be gushy okay um, and then convince yourself not others and what we talk about this it's somebody who's maybe very um, used to following social standards and maybe worried about what other people will say okay those you love love you yes they do okay and let's see here i want to know what is this bond what is this soul bond together with this these twins um spiritual and enlightenment so maybe somebody is recovering and and that's why you got to wait for them to have that enlightenment, that spiritual enlightenment, because that's what twin flame journeys are. Um, let's see. So, materialism, maybe letting go of materialism. Um, maybe that's why they're being held on by materialism. Good things to pray for. And your soulmate, for sure, that is your soulmate, your twin. And yeah, I just saw it again. There you go. Soulmate. So, it could be your twin. And unfounded fear. And that's what I see with the moon. There's this kind of light of, oh my God, I can actually change from fear. It's really sort of funny that they haven't done it sooner, but it's almost like an epiphany. And you just never know when those things are going to happen. Um, what is the message of love as far as whispers of love? What do they need to see in here? Whispers of love, please. Whispers of love. Okay. So... Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving of all the wonderful things 
that life has to offer. And you sure are. I think somebody's remembering that. Be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. You got to speak that truth. And then look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. And then let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that. True love. This love is once is a once in a lifetime love so yeah i think i will end it with there i think this is your twin let me know what you think i hope you guys have a beautiful day stay healthy stay safe may god bless you and i'll see you guys tomorrow have a beautiful day guys